Breaking now, they're coming after Hillary before Christmas. With all of the allegedly paid political professionals Hillary Clinton has, one would think that she could find someone to guide her in the direction of what's best for her public relations. I mean, this girl has got some massive scandal covering to do, and thankfully, she can't seem to fix it. This tryhard could do what she does, with all of these desperate moves she humiliatingly keeps making since the best presidential defeat in American history. Side note, I mean, her loss really is the best in presidential history, you can't deny it in regards to modern politics today. So, please don't debate me about who you think had lost in a more inglorious manner than HRC from like a century ago. K. Okay. I still love you though and mean it. Anyhow, back to the point. We don't need to address Hillary's sad, self-deprecating, and absolutely embarrassing reactions to everything this woman has done since losing to Trump to prove a point that her place was never supposed to be as big, that means head be asterisk tch in charge. Sorry, I felt the need to explain, just in case. So, where exactly is Hillary's handler, doctor, nurse, zoo coordinator, whoever, we don't need to ask where husband Bill is, I think we all know. But someone needs to come and collect this woman and save her from herself. Oh, wait, too late, looks like other people are on the job doing that, and not who she wants. It's been a bad week for HRC because Justice doesn't care about the calendar and what she's got planned for the holidays. Hillary's scandals against America and our democratic process, as well as the justice system, have gone on for far too long. Looks like time's up. This is a great Merry Christmas move for all citizens of our great nation. Western journalism has the details on who's coming after Hillary and what she has to look forward to. Turns out, the judge who recently ordered a discovery into her potentially incriminating emails is pretty outraged now. Hillary is getting a lot more than coal for Christmas. The 2016 election may be fading fast in the rearview mirror of history, but one of its biggest scandals is still haunting Hillary Clinton. Over two years after Clinton lost in a major upset to now President Trump, a lawsuit focused on her misuse of a private email system is moving forward. This week, a federal judge sided against the disgraced former first lady, and ordered a deeper investigation into her recklessness with the unsecured server. The ruling revolves around a Freedom of Information Act suit brought by a conservative government watchdog reported the Daily Wire. Judicial Watch, U.S. District Court Judge Royce Lamberth ruled Thursday, should be given access to documents and be permitted to acquire additional testimony about Clinton's use of a private server and officials' failure to be transparent about information searches related to it Daily Wire continued. In an official opinion written by Judge Lamberth, the magistrate slammed Clinton's email scandal as one of the gravest modern offenses to government transparency. The court also used Clinton's own party against her. Quoting none other than Barack Obama, under whom Clinton served as Secretary of State when the dangerously insecure email server was set up, Lamberth highlighted the importance of transparency. In our democracy, the Freedom of Information Act, FOIA, which encourages accountability through transparency, is the most prominent expression of a profound national commitment to ensuring an open government Obama declared early in his presidency. All agencies should adopt a presumption in favor of disclosure to renew their commitment to the principles embodied in FOIA, and to usher in a new era of open government. The presumption of disclosure should be applied to all decisions involving FOIA, the 44th president continued. Unfortunately, that pledge of government transparency seemed to be quickly forgotten within the Obama administration. Judge Lamberth pointed out that there's strong evidence that Clinton used her private server to hide her activities and avoid oversight. 
But in this case, faced with one of the gravest modern offenses to government transparency, his state and justice departments fell far short he declared. So far short that the court questions, even now, whether they are acting in good faith. Did Hillary Clinton use her private email as Secretary of State to thwart this lofty goal? Judge Lamberth continued, strongly implying that the answer was a resounding no. Was the State Department's attempt to settle this FOIA case in 2014 an effort to avoid searching and disclosing the existence of Clinton's missing emails?